Some baseball players are seemingly synonymous with the teams for which they played. When you think of Cal Ripken Jr., you can't help but think of the Baltimore Orioles. With Stan Musial, it's the St. Louis Cardinals, Smash Diggins, the Springfield Isotopes. These players spent their entire careers with the same team, making it much easier to associate them with their respective team. However, there are players that are just as synonymous with certain teams that didn't quite stay put. Here are five baseball players you totally forgot played somewhere else. There may be no other baseball player more associated with the Giants baseball organization than the Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays. He debuted for the Giants in 1951 and went on to define the franchise for over two decades. He was National League Rookie of the Year, was batting champion in 1954, won the league MVP twice, appeared in the All-Star Game a whopping 24 times, was elected to the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility, and had his number retired by the Giants. However, what you may not remember is that Mays himself retired with the New York Mets. He closed out his career in the same city in which it began, with the then New York Giants. In late 1973, Mays would hit his 660th home run, and he did it in a Mets jersey. The image of hammering Hank jolting home run number 715 has been burned into the memories of baseball fans everywhere. The big blue brave script across his chest is prevalent in that image. He was a World Series champion, league MVP, two-time NL batting champion, and more in his 20 years with the Braves. He appeared in 25 All-Star games, was elected to the Hall of Fame with 97.83% on his first ballot, and had his number retired in Atlanta. You may recall that he debuted with the Milwaukee Braves, but what you may not recall is that he retired with the Milwaukee Brewers. While there, he broke Babe Ruth's RBI record, one that Aaron still holds today. He also hit his 755th dinger with the Brewers, a record that would stand until 2007. By the way, the Brewers have also retired his number. Even after his passing, the killer is still considered by many fans the face of the Minnesota Twins franchise. His calm demeanor and Minnesota niceness resonated while his staggering power wowed. He once crushed a home run 520 feet. Killebrew's career began in 1954 with the Washington Senators, who would later become the Minnesota Twins, and no, this entry is not about his time with the Senators. In his 20 years with the Senators slash Twins, he led the American League in home runs six times and in RBI three times, was the AL MVP in 1969, and was part of 13 All-Star games. On May 4, 1975, Harmon's number was the first the Twins had ever retired. Killebrew was then elected to the Hall of Fame in 1984. What might have slipped your mind, however, is that Killebrew played his final year of baseball with the Kansas City Royals. He crushed 14 home runs that year, bringing his career total to 573. A bit of a departure from the previous entries, Big Poppy finished out his career with the team with which he is best known. It's hard to imagine the three-time World Series champion blasting bombs over the green monster in any other jersey than the Red Sox. He made the All-Star team 10 times, won the Silver Slugger Award on seven occasions, and was the AL RBI leader three times, including his final year of play. The 2013 World Series MVP accomplished all of these incredible feats within a 13-year span, famously doing so with the Boston Red Sox. One could forgive you for forgetting that Mr. Ortiz actually spent the first five years of his career with the Minnesota Twins. It's difficult to fathom him in twin stripes, but there he is. His rookie cards even list him as David Arias, the name he used before making his MLB debut. Without a doubt the most famous of all baseball players, the Sultan of Swat helped to forge the fearsome image of the New York Yankees in the 1920s. The Bambino may not have put the Yankees on the map, but he did more than his share in cementing the legacy of the team forever. George Herman began his major league career as an excellent pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. He even led the American League in ERA in 1916. He was part of three world championship winning teams with the Red Sox too. While he did eventually switch to hitting while in Boston, it wasn't until he was sold to the Yankees when he really started to turn heads. He was a 12-time AL home run leader a six-time AL RBI leader, league batting champion, and league MVP. He added four more World Series championships to his resume while with the Yankees. He was one of the first five members elected to the Hall of Fame. 
Big Babe became famous as a Bronx bomber, but what may have bounced out of your brain basket is that the Babe belonged to the Boston Braves in his last year of baseball. Ruth was a mere shadow of his once dominant self, playing in just 28 games with the Braves and hitting below the Mendoza line. There you have it. Who did we miss? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this, and check out our gut reaction videos of recently released trading cards. And as always, keep cracking that wax.